Right then, so in terms of setup, I actually prefer the left hand and the right hand grip on that one there a little bit more. Your right hand looks a little bit more kind of thumb onto the side there. This looks a little bit that smothered over the top. And that's what we want to try and get, as we said, the daylight needs to be, but the, if I was running a stick over your arms here, it would run across that arm there and underneath the left right. arm. So your right shoulder is sort of a back down and under a little bit, which will help this hip now move better. That's the key, we're gonna get this right hip moving better, okay? If we look at these two comparisons, the left hand one I say was your before, initially today, with a golf ball. If I draw the line there, you can see the lead, the lead, the trail hip in the backswing. As you go back now, moving through that yellow line, so now you sway just a bit too much onto your right hand side and never really get off that right side at all. So as you're into impact here now, the front leg is kind of leaning back. That's kind of where your weight is sort of situated, more so on this back foot. Now what that's gonna encourage obviously is you hitting the ground behind the golf ball, okay? Which in the summer, you get away with a little bit. Mm -hmm. In the winter, not at all. You lose a lo loads and loads of yardage. And of course, the weight being on the back foot is a sort of sign you're trying to fix the club face that used to aim out to the right, not so much now, but used to, and therefore you're now trying to swing the golf club sort of somewhere to the left to try and just start it left to target, yeah. okay? So the right hand one here now with the stick is gonna give you a good indication of that hip rotation. We can see now as you go back, a much better right leg position there, okay? So your right hip now has a little bit of shift onto the right side, and then you start turning and rotating. So if we look at that back swing position there, compared to that one. The one on the left looks a bit more kind of lifty to me. Mm. Okay, whereas this one now looks like you've rotated your back a lot more. The arm looks more across your shoulders there. Just a whole better rotation. Now from here, as we slide down, there's that little bit of shift here to the right, to the lead, the left side, right as we look, okay. And there's your impact position. Lead arm, hands, club shaft, all in line. You look at that impact position compared to that impact position, that's a very different goal for you. Yeah. This one's someone sort of sort of leaning back, sort of scooping it. This one here is coming down with a good angle of attack, driving in that golf ball. And then from there now, a much fuller release over to that left side. Whereas this one now kind of stops a little bit short in terms of that yeah. swing. That just looks a fuller movement there. Look at the toe there. That's a little bit, well, you got a bit more round with this right foot, I guess, yeah? Mm -hmm. But generally we've got to work on the hip movement doing with that stick so just doing this as much as you can and then getting that sort of that movement yeah there and Turn. what did you say the hip how the did you describe it you said um, so you basically rotate, rotate yes yeah, so rota 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 yeah. so in terms of the movement right hip goes around there left hip goes there yeah so as you go on the way back the white stick indicates now there's a lot of hip rotation there and now from here so you're moving, that, that stick's not changing angle, but you're moving towards target, yeah? Yeah, so you're that's bump, right, yeah. That's perfect, yeah, really, really good. I'm gonna show a little clip in a second, and I think I may have seen it before, but I'll send it to you again. Okay. The guy making this swing and how his hips and body move, and then back into impact, that is a really, really good position there. Again, practice doing this as much as you can to the okay. point where this just becomes what you do, yeah? yeah? So the shoulder, leg and arm all sort of in line there. Yeah, it just looks it's good. good act. Yeah, much more. I mean, you just look now fully on your left side, yeah? Okay. Really, really good. The position they talk about is kind of the reverse K. So you get your left side now is one straight line there. And then you've got into impact and then your trail arm. Okay. So there's that kind of reverse K position there at impact. Whereas the left hand one here now is almost opposite to yeah, that yeah. where you're hanging back okay, here now. yeah exactly yeah leaning back too much yeah so on this on the the, the, the one that's correct yeah, so yeah i've got my all my weight virtually on my front leg pretty much yeah I'm probably there, 70 or 80 percent okay. on that left side yeah okay. and i think they, they measure now with these claw players they've got these kind of um, mats they stand on and it measures their weight distribution through their feet i think at impact they're sort of between sort of 70 and 90 yeah, percent yeah, 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 yeah sort of you see the, the, the colors change when they sort of like an, almost like an X-ray, so they go, they go yellow, green, and red and stuff when the weight shift from one side to the other. And there is going to be, I say, a little bit of shift onto this right side as initially here as the club goes back. But once you get to here now, hips and shoulders are all kind of moving and rotating. Okay, so you're getting yourself to the top of the back swing. And by turning better, you're going to get more power. Okay. By shifting more towards target, you're going to increase the efficiency of your swing because you're going to be coming down in a much better direction to the golf ball okay. rather than coming across the ball and kind of scything it, yeah? Yeah. Your, your lead, so 
your angle of attack and the balls will be better. Your launch angle will be better because the club shaft now is going to have a slight bit of lean forward. But that's leaning forward because of what your body's doing, not you trying to shove your handle forward, okay? So loads and loads of really good things. I know there's no ball there. Again, you say it's a lot easier when there yeah, is yeah. no ball there. But again, repetition of that movement to the point that it just becomes what you just do. Yeah, then you just put, I know it sounds easy to learn, you put a ball in the way, that's it, yeah? Yeah, yeah? But if you can do that to the point, at the moment you're doing this while having to think about this movement, yeah. when there's a ball in the way, you're thinking about the golf ball. Aren't you bound to? Because the ball's yeah, like, yeah. I've got to hit the ball, yeah? Mm-hmm. Once you get this movement dialed in over and over again to the point where you haven't got to think about it, then you can focus on the ball and the shot you're going to try and hit, etc., etc. Okay. Okay? Yeah, great. Make sense? Yeah, perfect. Excellent. Again, just practice that movement as much as you can. If you've got mm-hmm. alignment sticks, put them in between your, um, your belt loops there. Get that movement. Again, mirrors, film it, whatever. All these things. Feedback's going to be great. great. Just get some movement there with that, that hip. So the right hip's got to turn, left hip shifts. Okie dokie. Brilliant.